Hey, hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this Python beginner tutorial series, today let's discuss about how to convert a dictionary to JSON. All right. So in our previous videos, we discussed about you know, what is dictionary and what and the basic operations of dictionary, right? So continuing with that, we'll focus on how to convert it into a JSON format. Okay. The reason I made this video is because you know, JSON is very uh, popular in the industry. Okay. Believe me, uh, most of the people widely use it in real time projects. Okay, so that's why it is really utmost necessary for every Python programmers to understand how to convert a dictionary to JSON. Okay, so if you are not aware of what what is JSON, okay, J JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation, now which is a standardized format commonly used to transfer data as a text, which can be sent over a network. Okay. Um, I've used JSON format in my real time projects. Okay, so it is used by a lot of APIs. It is used by databases. Okay, and it is very easy, easy for human beings to read and for machines also to be read. So that's why JSON is very popular. Okay, so JSON is something very similar to dictionary. Okay, so if you are aware of dictionary, uh, uh, JSON is something very similar to it. In dictionary we have key value pair, right? It JSON also have very similar format. Okay, so JSON represents object as a name or a value pair, just like our Python dictionary. Alright, so now let's look at this example so that you will have a very clear differentiation between what is a dictionary and what is a JSON. Alright, so our first step is to create a dictionary, right? So before creating dictionary, we have to import a JSON module which is a default module provided by Python. Okay, so using this JSON module, you can easily convert your dictionary to JSON. So I have to create a dictionary, right? Players dig. So I'm creating a dictionary called players dig, and I'm adding few few basic details about the players. Say name as Sachin and ages ages say 52 and sports is say cricket right now if i have to convert this into json all i need to do is use a dumps method which is present in the json module okay so i'm using json.dumps and providing my dictionary here players players dict okay so if i'm storing this under players in json okay so that it will be easy for me to print print players in json okay now if i run this here you go now we have converted our dictionary into json format okay so now this if you have actually looked at json json will be very tidy something like this okay so it will be very human readable format so but here it looks little untidy but you know, i would i wouldn't say completely untidy but there is a better way to and there is a better way we can show a json okay so all you need to do is just add a intent property there's an intent parameter so intent equal to you have you can provide as number of spaces that you need the beginning of each and every um word okay so if i put one all you have all you will have is just a single space before now you can see it is intended vertically and if, if we have it has added single space where else if you want to add more space say if you want to uh, if you want to have three space i've added three spaces here so it will now, now look more intended okay so this this is another property you can generally use with dumps and there's another property which is very widely used is called sort keys you know, generally, you know, some people might need all these values in the sorted order. So the keys in the sorted order, sorry, 
so in that situation you can use the sort underscore keys property and provide the boolean value true then you can convert um, then you can order it you know based on the keys so now you can see now we have a age first name and second and sports the third original dictionary had in different format now we have sorted it based on the keys okay so this is another property which is widely used with json dumps module all right so this is a very basic json format okay so what if you add multi nested dictionary all right so in that situation obviously you need a nested json right so let's look at a um, uh, example where we create a nested dictionary and then we will convert it into a json all right let's have the same um, dictionary like we'll have for, for better understanding what i'm gonna do is i am gonna format it in a better way all right and here it is so first i will have a dictionary called say let let me call it as player details okay so first i have something called player details okay and here it is and this is how you will create a nested dictionary here and i'm adding a comma so first we have our players details dictionary and next we have our um, let's call it as records next we have something called records records and let's add few more values say matches number of matches that Sachin has played i would approximately say somewhere around 600 and let's number of centuries that Sachin has hit uh, somewhere around 100 right so i have created two dictionaries here right so first we have player details and we have record details but we have another original dictionary here right so it's a, it's a nested uh, so this is how you will create a nested dictionary so if you had a nested dictionary how do you convert into a json is something we wanted to discuss right so it is all i have did is i have just created two dictionary but i have a player's dictionary the main dictionary right so all i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna use the same piece of code i'm just gonna use the dumps method and converting that player's dictionary into a json i'm using the same indentation and sort keys for now i will remove the sort keys all right yeah now you can see we have converted this json i have converted the dictionary into a json format okay all right guys this is how this is what i wanted to discuss as part of this video in case if you have any other queries regarding converting dictionary into json please let me know in the comment section i will try to answer it as soon as possible if you like this video please subscribe and follow my channel thank you